Yo, this is the self-proclaimed stage of the glaive, and today we're gonna talk about aerial combat. All right, area mobility. I believe it's the most fun part while playing Insect Glaive. So let's talk about how to get in the air first. So, um, first of all, you want to have your weapon out. So just whip that out, and otherwise you won't be able to do any of the air combos. And firstly, you can get in the air by using the move Volt. Volt is the ZR trigger while pressing the B button. That will send you straight up in the air. Um, other ways is using the wire bug mechanic that we have here. Uh, it's called the Silk Bind Vault, is where you press the ZL trigger while pressing X. That will launch yourself forward. And <laughs> apparently you can still hit them while doing that. Uh, during that vault process. And lastly, if you have the recall Kinsec move, which is the ZL trigger with A, that will launch yourself backwards, recall your Kinsec, heals you, and refill the Kinsec stamina. So, once in the air, I believe you're in a Volting Dance state. Uh, each Volting Dance, or in my words, a bounce. Each bounce you can either do in an attack, right? Or you can do a mid-air and invade. And if you want, you can still do a mid-air invade into an attack, right? Now here comes the tricky part. Hitting an enemy with either the Jumping Advancing Slash or the Strong Jumping Advancing Slash uh, I'm going to call these advancing slash because it's also a jumping slash which is get confusing which is the X button in midair. Uh, this is the A button which causes the advancing slash. Um, it will cause you to bounce again but that's only if the last hit of the move hits. So if I were to do this and I hit right it will cause me to bounce. Um, there is another variant of this is only when you have the red uh, buff extract. So if you hit it that buff here real quick. Right, and if you do the strong jumping event slash, you also bounce. But the last one has to hit. So let's see if I do this here and then I attack with this, and the last one didn't hit, so I didn't bounce. All right, so you can only use these jumping advancing slashes up to three times before you have to land again, and then you can you get back in air and you do it again. All right, so the advancing slash and the strong advancing slash. Um, they have a difference where this one's just a single hit, right, without the buff. Um, but if you do have the buff here, let me grab the buff real quick. So if you do have the buff, it becomes a multi-hit. But the distance is shorter on that jump. And the attack actually starts from when you just press it. It starts on that jumping part of the advancing slash. The attack will just start from there. Okay, so the tricky part is landing these advancing slashes, right? Um, the mid-air invade and the regular jumping advancing slash kind of cover the same distance. Um, so what you can do is you can try to just jump away and then jump back and then you'll hit. This is to help you get uh, in the hang of it. Um, but you do want to practice a lot of it just so you can gauge the distance. So I think about like here, you can like kind of hit it. Um, just to get that initial hit in so you can start bouncing. Um, but usually I like to just get the red buff for first before I do any of the the fancy smancy air combos. Because then that strong advancing slash does way more damage because it's like a multi-hit thing. Uh, one trick is just grab the buff real quick. One trick is to just bolt yourself forward directly as the monster, right? But it also, you want to be in the same elevation of the monster. So you can get like the full multi-hits right there. And you can just keep bouncing like that. Because um, your momentum will go straight into the, the monster. So you actually don't move as much. So it's all about timing when you're dealing with trying to land all the hits of regarding the strong advancing slash. You can even do that regularly with the regular jumping slash. You can just bolt right directly into it and just attack it. Um, it just makes it a timing game instead of more of a distance game. <laughs> Alright, so just be careful because you do need stamina for the bounce to activate. So, um, if not, you just fall back to the ground. So let me just use my stamina real quick. Right, so if I do my, my bolt again, I, it doesn't bounce anymore. So just be wary of that. 
Um, the bounce itself doesn't actually use any stamina. Each time you vault, uh, mid-air invade, or do a advancing jumping slash, you drain your stamina. Alright, I do want to point out that if you do the jumping slash, which is the regular X button, not the A button, the X button, um, it'll end your aerial mobility. So what I usually do is, after my I get my three bounces in, right, on the monster, and if I want to do like DPS, I would just end up with a jumping slash, because I really can't do any more advancing jumping slashes, bounce anymore. Or, um, if the monster's actually getting away, right, you can do your mid-air invade to advance towards them. Or, you can like jump away to just uh, regain your composure and then you can just jump in again, you know, regain your stamina and whatnot. But yeah, it's up to you, depending on the situation. But yeah, with that, that is just a, a quick video on aerial combat and mobility of the insect lathe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, find this helpful. Let me know if I miss anything. And I do stream on Twitch lately, a lot of Monster Hunter Rise. So if you guys want to do some co-op missions, I am down. I'll be glad to play with you. Uh, so check by, uh, follow my stream, my socials will be down below. And I'll see you guys next time, later days.